Hi my friends, today we try to model this part, fork lever, which is not so complicated, but it has uh, interesting demand. The drawing is uh, this one, you see there is a point here which uh, other lines converge. The other elements are not complicated, but all we want is to create a couple from these two parts, identical parts. They must have as you can see, this contact outside and also inside. Yes, this is a challenge. Let's use the data in the drawing to create the part. First, the main features. And at the final, these 15 channels, which must be uh, joined together, as I said. New standard IPT millimeters, and we start with a sketch in the plane XY. A circle with a diameter a radius 19, a radius 19, and another one with a diameter of uh, 28. Distance 140. 140. One dimensions needed. Which dimensions? Look here. Horizontal here. These two points to be on the same horizontal. Then line click and keep pressed the button to draw a line tangent to the circles. Keep pressed and go to the other circle tangent. Escape fully constrained. Trim. neither dimension disappeared so fully constant is the result extrude 10 okay good then we go to the drawing to see that there is uh, another arm of the part. To model this arm we create a plane at this at this level 46 from the face. Plane face 46 sketch project geometry one two three lines now we see in the drawing this distance 82 so we create a line at 82 from the center line between these two 
lines vertical but not in the middle 82 from the center 82 then I make these two lines construction lines and I draw two lines here this is not uh, so necessary and I'll show you why you see now we have a nice uh, close contour control Z control Z control Z yes at just like uh, at the beginning finish sketch and we create an extrude of this closed contour because this was not closed here and if it was we uh, would select uh, this and instead of the other 10 millimeters is the second thickness and now we connect these two by using this face drawing a line vertical line distance of 10 finish sketch extrude and now we have to select I extrude this or this I extrude this to the part to the face not cut but join okay there are some fillets as you can see here radius 4 also here radius 4 radius 8 we apply this uh, fillets four four and four plus this one which is eight okay now I create a cylinder here another one here and another one here let's start with this one you see the diameter is 30 and the height is 24.45 I know that I will change this so I place here 25 you'll see later why a cylinder diameter 30 with a distance of 25 minus 10 face sketch circle 30 diameter finish sketch extrude only this on 20 5 minus 10 the other two are the same radius 28 and uh, distances of uh, 80 minus 46 minus 12 twice 10 all divided by 2 Oh, 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 what an expression here. No big deal. Be careful. I apply a circle taking this dimension. Don't show me this again. Extrude. 
this and 80 minus 46 minus twice 10 all divided by 2 okay okay the other side sketch circle finish sketch extrude now I can copy the expression from the other copy cancel extrude you see is already placed there of course because I repeat that I, I don't need to paste the value okay there are fillets of two millimeters here and here okay fillet two millimeters two millimeters and two millimeters okay holes this is a hole of uh, 15 and here 14 sketch go back and hole of 15 which point this point which diameter 15 okay another way is to apply hole to select the face to select concentricity and to place diameter through yes through all okay another hole is here you see in the middle of this uh, 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 width and on the center is a five millimeter hole through the part yes you see this and this we do this by selecting uh, this plane and uh, creating a sketch F7 to see inside in the middle of this uh, uh, width I said okay I'll place it just in the middle diagonal here make it construction place a point in the middle the middle is selectable finish sketch not finish sketch my friend f7 again circle of five five millimeters diameter and the circle is here extrude not hole extrude you see the value is copied because it is taken from the last extrusion symmetrical through cut not join okay good material 
material is still carbon but the aspect is still cast and you see we have a texture of cast steel okay now we concentrate on this uh, feature to create that channels 15 channel if we take a look careful and the drawing we see something we see that uh, the bottom of the channel goes to a point in the center of the cylinder and the dimension here is 23 for this point we also observe that the channel and section is 90 degrees it cannot be other value because the other uh, identical part will come from up to join this one and if we place here another angle it will be not equal to the hollow of the other um, part so we have to respect 90 degrees and we have to place the mid of the the channel on this line at 23 millimeters very interesting and how can we do this well this is not so simple we can uh, find out this angle and this angle this is not vertical yes it has an angle which uh, this line is uh, perpendicular on this bottom line of the channel okay it seems to be tricky but we have uh, our uh, imagination yes to create that elements we go here we know that there are 15 uh, channels which means that each one cover 360 divided by 15 what is the result we'll see we create a plane at 23 firstly minus 23 then a sketch in this plane with two lines line from outside to this point from the point to outside F7 to see inside here we project the circle we cut we trim ends of the two lines we place here the dimension an angle of 30 360 divided by 15 and the result out divided by 2 also 
and divide it by 2 then I move this up because I want to be symmetrical I connect these two points with a line and I make it vertical it is vertical by fortune so we have fully constrained here the uh, sketch finish sketch and uh, now I have to do something I have to create a plane by using this connection so I apply work axis and I select this line because I want to create a triangle here the triangle must be placed in a plane perpendicular on this through this axis okay I hide this plane and I create a sketch and the other one F7 and we project that small line this one we draw two sides of a new triangle which must have equal lengths and to be perpendicular you know why finish sketch you see we have a triangle there but I forgot to draw an important line so I reopen the sketch F7 to draw a line from this point to the the other point the other center or the center of the other side of the triangle now I hide this plane and I create another one in this plane a new sketch F7 as you can see there is a line here we project this end point and we also project this line if it is yes it is necessary I did it yes I draw a line from this point to somewhere and to the mm, to the end of the, the line I make perpendicular these two lines and I place I make equal these two this line with this line this is the trick my friends the first trick you see there if I uh, extend this line it will come here not at the end but uh, to the bottom of the end 
fully constrained, a sketch with no dimensions. OK, finish sketch. Now I create a new sketch in the same plane. This was the plane sketch. And F7. I project this sloped line and I draw a line longer enough to go outside the part. But I want it to be collinear with the projected part line. Now we have a point here to place a plane. Let me rotate the part to see what I do here. Plane, line, point. We have a plane which is sloped of course. And we use it to create another sketch. F7, F5 to see what we do here. We project now this line, the inside. Project this line, which is this one. Now we draw two lines, but I have to project this point in the plane, in the sketch. And be careful now, because I start from the end point to somewhere, restart another line from the same point to somewhere, why? <laughs> to make coincident midpoint of a line with the, the end of this and the other midpoint to the end. Now I'm sure that this line is twice at the, as the side of the triangle. I connect these two points and I have a close contour. Finish sketch. You see? Everything here goes to this point. Now I create an extrusion of this full triangle with cut to a plane. The plane, I don't want to go through the part here. So I use a plane. Which one? This plane. You see? Very nice and very interesting. This is not a pyramid. This is a prism. Yes. Okay. Now I hide all the sketches and planes because the goal was reached. Wow. How many details are here, but this is the way to cre create this uh, nice, this is a sketch, but where is it? This is the one, visibility. Good, we have 
a channel. We multiply the channel in 15 instances. Circular pattern, last feature about this axis in 15 instances. Okay. <laughs> we have here very interesting face. Now we have to cut that and let's take a look to the drawing. As you can see here there is a dimension 2445 from this uh, plane to the very point of here but the uh, this very point is of two points because there is a chamfer at the end remember this now I Create a new sketch, the last one, my friends, in the same plane XZ. F7. And we project the generator, uh, this generator, we also project this line and we have to create a point here to have the direction of all of our lines. This means that I create a new line like this starting from this point and I make it collinear with this then I apply vertical to place on the same vertical at the end point with the center point I also draw a line here vertical continuation of the generator then I place here a dimension of 24.45 you know this dimension okay now I have a point to connect with the center of the construction with this point. No, not this point, excuse me. With this point, yes. Good, very good. Now I make all these lines as construction lines and I create a sloped line like this. another vertical line and this must not be uh, uh, slope but horizontal my friends horizontal trim 
this and project this line and make it coincident here with our no no I want to make coincident this point with this line what is this let me connect the two and then make collinear these two lines now is okay good you see okay now I apply revolve revolve of this contour about which where is the axis this is the axis but we don't add material but we cut okay you see this is the part my friends this is the part let's see the volume I copy this close we go to the drawing home double click and the new value is almost the same 10 to 64 this is very small difference we accept that volume no we don't accept we place here our volume because it was obtained during this tutorial so we respect this value in our uh, work now let's see if our new part which I save with this name no I save with a name after you see now the name is after I apply a new element I apply a point to do this I make visible this uh, sketch and I place here a point then I make not visible the sketch but the point remains very interesting but why look here why new standard millimeters I am place fork lever after place grounded at origin and place another one instance escape now I apply free rotate of this second uh, instance of the same part and we make them constrained to have the same axis okay now we can move and we can rotate this uh, part let me 
place once upon the other the two points this point with this point okay now we can rotate you see the part and because the the number is uh, odd not even is odd 15 I can place plane on plane constraint now let me show you something now they they are not uh, placed one uh, face on the other and I search about the uh, interference analyze I select the first set of parts but this is only one and the second set of parts will now is also only one and I ask for uh, interference we see big interference here because uh, I didn't uh, apply a uh, last constraint now I apply that constraint by using angle angle first solution between the two planes this one and from the other part this one now they are aligned okay you see here we have the contact outside and inside but this is not enough we inspect interference between this part and this part what we see we see there were no interference detected you must know this this is a very precise uh, uh, calculus to find interferences so that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye